Hi everyone, welcome you all. This is Pavan. So from today, uh, we are going to start new series on Cypress automation using JavaScript. So as part of uh, today's session, we are going to see the introduction of uh, Cypress, like what is Cypress and uh, who will use Cypress. And we will compare Cypress features along with the Selenium. And then uh, we will see Cypress ecosystem and what are the features, what it will support, what it will not support, and uh, so many other things. So let's begin. So what is Cypress? So Cypress is basically a front-end automation testing tool. We can say front-end automation, web automation testing tool, front-end web automation testing tool. And it is especially developed for modern web applications, especially which is developed for modern web applications. So what is modern web applications? So previously we have uh, different type of web applications. They have developed by using static HTML and CSS and some piece of JavaScript. They are all traditional web applications. And uh, nowadays many of the web applications are designed by using a latest technology or uh, latest JavaScript frameworks. Like uh, we have React JS, React JS and Angular JS, Angular JS. So these type of uh, frameworks are using in web application development. And those web applications are basically called as a modern web applications. So to test those type of applications, we need a specific set of features and which are available in Cypress. So Cypress is especially designed for web automation and uh, we can automate modern web applications in Cypress. And they are designed by using React JS, Angular JS, and so on. And especially the Cypress, by using Cypress, we can automate uh, any kind of applications, which is running on the browser. Any application, any application which runs on browser, which runs on browser, we can automate. Any application which can runs on browser, we can easily automate. And basically, which will use JavaScript. If I go to any other automation tools, every automation tool will use a language to write our automation test. So here, Cypress will use JavaScript. JavaScript uh, programming it will use, just like in Selenium, which will support Java, Python, C Sharp, Ruby, and so on. So similarly, in the Cypress also, we are going to write our automation scripts by using JavaScript. But it doesn't use any Selenium libraries. It doesn't uh, use any Selenium libraries because it's totally different than Selenium. Okay, nowadays there are many automation tools. They are built on top of Selenium libraries. So the inbuilt mechanism is Selenium libraries are there. So nowadays some applications or some tools are there, but Cypress is totally different than Selenium. So it doesn't use any uh, Selenium libraries. And moreover, it is open source. It is open source, but there are multiple components are there in this. Like we have, Cypress runner and Cypress dashboard. So by using Cypress runner, so we can install Cypress and we can write our automation test scripts. We can run our automation test scripts. We can do almost everything. But other than that, there is one more feature which is available called dashboard and which is basically paid uh, tool. Like uh, once we paid, we will get the access on dashboard. So the mainly two things are there. We can say test runner. The other one is called a dashboard feature. So by using test runner, almost 80% of the test uh, uh, activities, we can do it, uh, right? We can write, we can design the framework, we can write our automation test script and we can execute them and everything, almost everything we will be able to do by using test runner. But in addition, if you want to get some more additional features like maintain the test history, right? So parallel testing and uh, then uh, if you want to maintain the dashboards like test results and then we need to subscribe dashboard feature so these are the two things which are there but test runner is completely free available freely available but the dashboard is feature this is a paid version which is available okay and uh, cypress is basically built on node environment we can call it as a node js environment for example uh, if you want to install any java applications so we need JRE, right? So Java runtime environment on runtime environment, we can develop or we can execute any Java based projects or Java based applications. Similarly, Cypress uh, works on top of Node.js environment. And Node.js, Cypress is built on Node.js and 
it comes with it comes with or it comes uh, packaged as npm module which is basically available in npm module npm module npm is nothing but a node package manager so for example when you're working with the java and maven projects uh, we have a maven global repository right so whatever the dependencies we required we will just add dependencies in the pom.xml so we will get all the dependencies from the maven repository similarly for node environment we have something called npm node package manager so from this npm we will able to get whatever the libraries we want to uh, we required for the cypress automation tool so node.js uh, basically cypress is built on node.js and comes packaged as npm module so we use this uh, while downloading cypress and installing the cypress so this is a basic understanding like what is cypress so front-end web automation testing tool cypress is a front-end web automation testing tool and especially designed for modern web applications and we can automate any application which runs on the browser and uh, internally, we will write our test cases using JavaScript. It supports only JavaScript and uh, TypeScript because TypeScript is developed on top of JavaScript. So we can also use TypeScript. It doesn't use any Selenium libraries as an underlying layer. It's totally different than Selenium. And it is open source, even though it is open source, which is freely available. But again, uh, test runner is completely free, but dashboard feature is a paid version, which is available. And the Cypress, we can work on Cypress on Node.js environment. So if you want to configure Cypress project, or if you want to create our Cypress test cases, or if you want to run your Cypress test cases, we need Node.js environment. And Cypress comes along with the NPM module. So this is the basic uh, introduction, like what is Cypress? But who will use Cypress? So we can use Cypress we can use Cypress. And initially the Cypress is especially developed for developers to perform unit testing and integration testing. And slowly there are so many uh, features are uh, implemented as part of Cypress. And slowly the QA guys are testers also started using Cypress. So especially the Cypress is designed for end-to-end -end, uh, test automation. So we can automate end-to-end -end test cases end-to-end -end test cases we can automate end-to-end -end test cases we can automate apart from this we can also uh, use cypress to automate integration tests so whoever want to automate integration test cases they can use it and also unit test cases also we can automate apart from this we can also automate api test so we can also do api testing by using cypress so cypress will support both web testing as well as api testing so who can use Cypress, both the developer and also QA can use Cypress. So both the dev and also QA people can use Cypress and developer will use Cypress to perform integration unit test cases and to automate. And then QA people will prefer to use Cypress to automate end-to-end -end test cases and, uh, and also API testing. Okay, so this is how we can, people, we can use Cypress. And the next thing is, like say, let's compare with Selenium versus Cypress. Let's say what are the different features are Cypress and uh, we will let's compare with the Cypress features along with the Selenium. So because Selenium is a, a most popular tool which is there in the market from the long time. And uh, let us see what are the there in Selenium, what are not there in the Cypress. Similarly, what are there in the Cypress, what are the features which are not there in uh, Cypress, we will compare. So let me share a small picture. Yeah, so if I look at here, uh, we will compare Selenium Cypress with the different factors like uh, application support. So what kind of application which will support? So in Selenium, we can automate only web, only web testing we can do. Whereas in Cypress, we can also do web testing along with the API testing. We can also automate APIs. Now, when you come to the cost perspective, Selenium is completely free and which is open source. But in the Cypress, test runner, is uh, only the free tool which is available, but dashboard is a paid version which we have. Now, setup and installation perspective, Selenium is a little difficult than Cypress because if you want to set up and install Selenium, first of all, we need to download required standalone libraries, Selenium libraries, language bindings, and then we need to specific drivers. We need to download browser specific drivers, and then we need to create our own Maven project and then we have to add required dependencies in bond red xml so a lot of setup is involved 
But when you come to the cypress, it is very much easier than selenium. It is very much easier than selenium because cypress will by default, as soon as you created a new project, which will automatically create all the folder structure, everything is available. So when you compare with the selenium, so cypress setup and installation is very, very easy. When you come to the languages, selenium support multiple languages like Java, Python, Ruby, C Sharp, and JavaScript and so on. But Cypress support only JavaScript and TypeScript. So there is language limitation is there in Cypress. And when you come to the browsers, Selenium support almost all browsers which are currently in their market like Chrome browser, Edge browser, Firefox, Safari, Opera, IE11. So these browsers are supported uh, in Selenium. Whereas in Cypress, it will support only Chromium based browsers. They are Chrome, Edge, Firefox, and Electron. So these are the browsers currently Cypress is supporting. Now, when you come to the framework support, so when I use Selenium, so we'll take the help of a different framework based upon the language which we have used, like JUnit, TestNG. Like if you are using Python, we take the help of PyTest. So different frameworks we can integrate along with the Selenium based on the programming language you have chosen in Selenium. But in Cypress, there is only one framework which we can use along with the Cypress, which is Mocha.js. Okay, so this is the only framework which we can use. All the libraries, assertions, the format of writing test cases, everything we will follow from the Mocha framework. Now, performance point of view, if we look at Selenium and Cypress, uh, because Selenium test runs always outside of the browser. So the performance obviously is slower than Cypress. But in the Cypress, it is a little faster than Selenium because our tests run inside the browser. So this is a major difference between Selenium and Cypress. In Selenium, our tests will execute outside of the browser because we need to first have a language bindings and we need to send different commands and then browser specific drivers will receive those commands like we have a Chrome driver, Firefox driver, Edge driver. So in the middle, we will have so, so many drivers and whatever commands we are using, like Selenium commands and which will first hit to the hit uh, the drivers and then drivers will talk to the browsers and then commands will be executed. So actually the execution is happen. Our tests are executing outside of the browser. So obviously the performance wise, mm -hmm. Selenium is a little slower than Cypress. But when you go to the Cypress, the execution will happen directly on the browser. So when I run your test, the test will automatically execute on the browser inside the browser so that the execution is always faster. So when you come to the reporting part, so we can integrate extend report, LU reports in the Selenium. And, but in Cypress, we have only Mocha reports along with the Cypress dashboard because the Cypress dashboard is paid version. So we can generate Mocha reporters. Like in their basic HTML reports, we can generate. So these are the basic comparisons of Selenium and Cypress. Now let us, uh, Okay, so now let us talk about uh, something else. Like we have seen what is Cypress and then what it is support, like what is the difference between Selenium and Cypress. So as I said before, Cypress mainly provide two main components which we can call them as a ecosystem. You can say Cypress uh, ecosystem. So what is a Cypress ecosystem is mainly two component, test runner and dashboard. And both are called as Cypress ecosystem. Cypress ecosystem. So one is test runner is provided. And using test runner, what we can do is, is, is an open source component. It's a completely open source component. We don't need to pay anything. And we can download and we can install it actually. We can locally install. We have to install this locally. And what is the use of this test runner? It helps us to set up and start and executing our test cases. So for that, we need this test runner. And this is freely available. So the other uh, component of uh, Cypress is dashboard service. Dashboard service, this is basically paid version. But in this, we can record the test, we can maintain the history of the test results and so on. So this is a paid version which is available. So these two are comes under Cypress ecosystem. So by using those two components, we can achieve everything in Cypress. Now come to the main features. What are the main features of Cypress? Why we need to prefer to use uh, Cypress? The first and most important feature is called time travel. Time travel. So what is time travel? 
So time travel. So this particular feature is not there in Selenium, especially Cypress is providing this feature. So what is time travel? So when you're writing your test cases, right? Once you executed your test cases, all the steps will be successfully executed. At the time of executing your test cases, your Cypress will take the snapshot of every run. Like we have written 10 lines of code, all 10 lines are successfully executed. For every line, Cypress will capture the screenshot. It maintains the history and everything. Suppose if you want to navigate to back or move forward, right? So we can easily do that. That's called time travel. Suppose you have executed 10 steps and currently you are in seventh step. Now I want to repeat the previous steps once again. So then you can go back. Or similarly, you can just move forward. So that possibility is there in Cypress. So that's basically called as a time travel. And there's one important feature. And the second important feature which is provided Cypress is debuggability. Debugging. So normally, if you go with any Selenium or any other automation tools, if any test cases got failed, normally what you will do is we will try to debug the code. Every method, every function or every line, we will try to debug. But here, Cypress is having access of all the dev tools because the Cypress is running on the same browser internally, so which will able to access everything from the dev tools. So the debugging is very, very easy. So if something is got failed somewhere, immediately we can cross check there itself without again rerunning the code. So that kind of facility is provided in Cypress, which is basically called debuggability. It is very easy to debug the test when you compare with other automation tools. And one more important feature of Cypress is automate, automatic waiting. Automated waiting or uh, built-in waits. We can also call as a built-in waits. Automatic waits or we can also call as built-in wait. Built-in waits. And this is another important feature which is provided in Cypress. So what is automatic weights or built-in weights? So whenever you are trying to interact with the elements on your web page, sometimes you may get synchronization problems. Synchronization problem is nothing but what? Sometimes your page will be loading uh, very, very slowly or sometimes elements may not be available when you are trying to perform some action. Sometimes elements will be uh, invisible or sometimes the elements will be disabled state, right? So when you're trying to click on the link, still the link is not available or sometimes the elements are detached from the DOM structure. So if you have these type of issues, definitely uh, your script will throw error. So there will be a synchronization problem. Means what? Your script execution is faster than your application response. So if you go with Selenium, so where we will use certain number of weight statement like implicit weight, weight uh, explicit weight, fluent weight. So there are multiple weighting mechanisms are there. And we have to use them in our automation script. But in Cypress, there is a default waiting time is there for everything. It will automatically wait for the element. It will automatically wait for the page load, everything. So whenever you perform certain action on the element, it will wait automatically. It will wait for that element, then perform the action. So that particular feature is uh, available in Cypress. This is automatic weights, or we can say built-in weights. And we no need to write ex we no need to write any weight commands explicitly in your automation test cases, and that is the biggest advantage of using Cypress. And the next one is we will get the consistent results. So always the results are very very consistent, because this is a major problem in other automation tools like Selenium. So and, and suppose if your test case is perfectly written and everything is fine, but sometimes it will pass, sometimes it will fail, even though you are written everything is correctly. And because of consistent, it will not be consistent across multiple drivers or multiple browsers. So that problem is got solved in Cypress. So you will always get the consistent results. You can run n number of times, same test case, you will get the same kind of results. Because the Cypress is running inside the browser. That's a major advantage of Cypress. But in Selenium, so our tests are running outside of the browser. Our drivers are present somewhere, browser is present in somewhere. Our script is present in somewhere and these things you talk each other. So definitely there will be some inconsistency will be there. And because of that, sometimes our test cases will fail. But in Cypress, the Cypress itself is sitting on the browser and execution will happen. So there will not be any inconsistent issues. So all test results will be always consistent. So, and then one more important feature is from Cypress, screenshot and videos will automatically capture. 
screenshots and videos. Whenever you run your test cases, if something is got failed, the screenshot will automatically capture and same test case will be recorded in the video format. And these features are inbuilt in Cypress. We no need to write any additional code to capture the screenshot or videos from your test cases. And that is the additional benefit of Cypress. And finally, which will also support cross-browser testing. Which will also support cross-browser testing. Means what? We can run our test cases on multiple browsers. Like whatever browsers the Cypress is supported so far. And we can run our test cases on multiple browsers and we can run them locally or we can also run remotely by using Jenkins or any other CI CD tools. So these are the main features of Cypress. But any tool is having some pros and cons. So these are the main advantages or features. But what are the limitations? So there are some limitations also there in Cypress. And let's see what are those limitations. The limitations of Cypress. What are the limitations of Cypress? So first thing, the first and most important limitation is we can't automate desktop applications because it is also meant for only web-based applications, just like a Selenium, but we can't automate. We can't automate window-based applications, window-based or mobile applications, mobile apps, we can't automate. Okay, so we can't automate window-based or mobile applications. This is the one limitation. And even Selenium is also, we can we can't automate web window-based or applications or mobile-based applications. And the second thing is, we have limited support of browsers. Okay, we have a limited support of browsers. It will not support every browser which is there in the market. But in Selenium, there are so many browsers you will support. But we have a limited support. It will just support only Firefox, Chrome, and Chromium, so on. And very limited support is there. For browsers and language prospective, if you look at it, it will support only JavaScript. JavaScript. It will support only JavaScript and TypeScript. TypeScript also will be sub because TypeScript is implemented on top of JavaScript. So TypeScript uh, also will be supported. And other than this, we can't use any other languages uh, to work with the Cypress. And uh, one more important thing is, suppose when you're writing your test cases, sometimes we need to read and write the data from the external files, right? So that is a little bit toughest thing in Cypress. So it is tough to read data from the files, reading and writing, writing data into files is difficult. Okay, so difficult. We have to use any some third party plugins and so on. And then reporting. So when you come to the reporting again, uh, when I use the dashboard feature, so by default, uh, you will get some dashboard, all the test execution results and everything. Otherwise, we need to, again, uh, use Mocha reports. They will provide some basic HTML reports. Other than that, we can't integrate any other tool, right, into our Cypress. That's another biggest limitation which we have in Cypress. So third-party reporting tool integration is also limited. Third-party reporting tool third party reporting tool integration is also limited also limited so these are the uh, limitations currently which we have in cypress so we have discussed about features and also limitations so now let us look at their official documentation and their website and see what are all things uh, they have provided in their documentation so let me just go to my browser and what is their official website is cypress dot io is their web uh, their official website but just look at this website they have provided everything so the web has evolved so finally testing has to evolve so previously we have our traditional web applications they have developed by using html css and javascript but nowadays the new web applications are designed by using javascript frameworks like j uh, like angular js react react js and so on so al along with them accordingly we have to also evolve our automation tools. So that's the main purpose of uh, uh, using Cypress. So Cypress will support all kinds of web applications, which includes React, mm -hmm. JS or Angular JS and so on. So if I just come down here, so they have provided some sample screenshot, how the test will be designed and executed and so on. And if I just look at this, uh, as I said before, there are two main components which we have in Cypress. One is Cypress app and Cypress dashboard. And Cypress app is nothing but a Cypress test runner. So by using that, we can 
create our tests and we can write our test and we can execute and we can debug and so on we can do in the cypress dashboard uh, all the run results will be maintained and uh, all the recorded tests will be maintained in the dashboard this is the paid feature which is there in the cypress and if we just come down to this page and they have provided uh, some more information like it is a developer friendly because it is initially designed for development or for developers to write integration and unit test cases so later on uh, we are also trying to use uh, in testing so which is basically open source and it is built from the uh, ground up so everything is started from the scratch with new architecture because it will not follow anything from selenium so selenium is completely totally different architecture which we have so if we just come down to this, they have provided what are the things which will support as we discussed earlier, time travel, debuggability, automatic waiting, real-time reloads, right? So these things uh, uh, by default Cypress will support. And if I just go to the documentation, they have given very detailed documentation and everything they have mentioned in this doc. So can just go to the doc section here. So this is a detailed guides and documentation they have provided for web testing as well as API testing and what are other plugins are supported with Cypress they have given and so many examples also they have given for practice and everything they have documented uh, in detail. So if I just read this documented, every documentation, everybody can easily understand and they can uh, play with Cypress. So if I just look at this, uh let's go to the guides and here mm -hmm. why cypress they have clearly given so all the information like in a nutshell cypress is a next generation front-end testing tool built uh, for modern web applications and it is basically address all the key pain points uh, of developers from qa engineers and they are trying to overcome those challenges by using cypress and this is the process of automating the test like we will set up the test and we will write the test and then we'll run the test and finally we will debug the test. And as we discussed, we will use Cypress end-to-end -end test cases. We can automate like end-to-end -end user integration test, unit test. So Cypress can test everything or anything that can run on the browser. And as, as we already discussed, Cypress ecosystem is having test runner. And then we have dashboard and these are the different features they have clearly mentioned uh, in their official page. And they also mentioned how to set up the test and how to write the test, how to run the test, how to debug the test, everything they have mentioned in the detailed manner and what type of test cases we can automate. We can automate end-to-end -end test cases, component level test cases, means unit test cases and integration test cases. Also, we can automate API test cases, okay? Because we can send HTTP calls like get request, post request, daily request, put request, different type of HTTP requests also we can send uh, in Cypress, which is supported, right? So this is how they have clearly documented. And uh, if I just go here, everything is there in the documentation. Just we can just read each and everything from the documentation and we can do uh, some kind of practice on this. So very detailed documentation is provided in the Cypress. So in future, if you want to refer anything or if you want to download something or any uh, information or any guidance is required, we can follow this Cypress guides. They have provided in their official documentation. Okay. So this is all about introduction part. So we have seen what is Cypress and what it will support, what it will not support and what kind of tests we can automate by using Cypress like uh, web test and a web testing we can do and API testing also we can do. Also, we have seen two components. One is test runner and dashboard and uh, what are the features uh, Cypress will have and what are the things we can't do by using Cypress. In the next session, we will see how we can set up environment, how we can download and install Cypress. And then we will see how we can automate the test cases. All right. So that's all for this video. So thanks for watching. We'll see in the next video.